This was the boat shed. This is where Georgia, Benny, Bully, and the big and the freighter stayed when they were not in use. They were not on water, so they were lifted up by a crane whenever they were needed. Their captains were talking about were telling sto stories about their sea adventures when suddenly one of the cap one of the boat captains heard the phone. The captain answered it and the bully's captain answered it. It was for him. They were required to go to the chain railway to go pick up supplies and take it to another location. They were ordered to bring supplies to the Shane Railway. All right, Bully, said his cat, said his captain. Looks like we got a, looks like we got a supply transfer. Why do we have to go there, said Bully complained. Yes, that's where the supplies has to go. But I don't wanna. You have to, he said. Otherwise the supply otherwise the supplies won't make it. Why can't you send Georgia or Benny or the freighter? Because they're not because we're the only ones because they want us and us only. Said So come on, I'll get you attached to the crane. Soon he was attached to a crane and lifted out onto the water. Well, off I go. And he was out. Bully soon arrived at the Shane Railway with the supplies. As it was being unloaded, he saw Fergus. Hello, Fergus. He said, Bully. Oh, hi, Bully. How's it going? Well, you know, just doing another supply transfer. I just hope I don't get hit by another train. Uh, he he said, "I'm sure you won't," said Fergus. Now, if you excuse me, I have to take these cars somewhere. <laughs> Tom, the good Tom, temporary goods engine, was about to leave with his train. Sure, hope nothing bad happens," he said. Himself as he puffed out of the as he puffed out of the yards. He stopped at the goods station so they could load his vans. And as soon as the vans were loaded, he was once again on his way. Smudger was was sitting at a crossing, waiting for Tom to pass by. Tom puffed down the line with his with his goods train. I sure hope nothing bad happens, he said. So, as he got to the bridge. But the vans were being troublesome and started bumping him. He was right above the water, just about to fall. Uh oh. Uh. Bully was just leaving the harbor when he noticed that Ed was about to fall. Tom had crashed into Bull. Tom had crashed into Bully. As a, suddenly, the van tipped over. As the trucks began to fall over the tracks. Now Bully was in a bad condition. And Fergus was just passing by. Uh oh. I better report I better get help right away. The other three were the other three boats were sitting in the boat shed when the 
when Benny's driver was called, when Benny's captain was called. Come on, Benny, said his captain. Bully just had an accident. Right away, sir, right away, captain. And they rushed off. Soon, Benny had arrived. Mighty Mac were taking the vans away. Well, Fergus was shunting Aiden, shunting Tom into the siding. Now you won't get damaged, said Fergus. As he puffed off the goat and collect his trucks once more. And watched Bully get towed away. Fergus watched as Benny, as Bully's driver got into Benny. And Benny pushed, and Benny pushed Bully back home. Poor Barge, said Fergus. Well, I best get my trucks. Otherwise, someone might take them. Soon the mechanic was called and he was ordered to fix Bully up again. The other three boats laughed at him. Oh, ha ha, very funny, said Bully. Georgia, I remember when you, I remember that time you got rammed. You were sitting at the end of that siding that led into the water and someone smashed a bunch of tankers into you. Okay, first of all, they were filled with milk, not fuel, said Georgia angrily. Also, it wasn't my fault. My captain parked me there. You should thank Benny for helping you out every time you've gotten into an accident. Actually, he's thanked me a lot, said Benny. I really don't need any meat. Any more thanks? Well, I guess I'll be under repairs again, said Bully. And I guess I'm being sent back. And I guess I have to go on another supply run once I'm fixed. I don't think so, said Bully's captain. Look, but. Our manager said that you won't. The boss said that you won't be in. Sir, that after you're fixed, you'll be sitting here for a bit. The other boats will take your deliveries. You need a break from all this, from all these accidents, anyways. Oh, thank you," said Bully. But who? But which one of the boats? Georgia, Benny, and the freighter, of course. Who else is over? Who else is over here to help out? Well, at least I get a break now, said Bully. And they all talk, and all four boats talk to each other the rest of the day.